You know, since I was a child, my parents have constantly taught me to lend a helping hand to others, or at least uh, provide advice that is within my knowledge range so that I can assist others in overcoming their problems. And in the past, I've given useful advice to a friend and I would describe that experience to you. So if my recollection about the past is precise, you know, a few months ago, I had to take one challenging subject, uh, which was math and you know, it put a strain on my and my friend's abilities. So I invited um, a friend to join a group so we could support each other in tackling our difficult exercises. And um, to be honest, I have a dominant ability in doing math homework and I can get the hang of finding some constructive formulas to solve my math homework in a short time. So I regularly get flying colors. Um, however, my close friend has some trouble with um, her math exercise while we were studying together. And you know, she couldn't recall the formulas or certain calculations. So she asked me for my assistance and I provided her with a range of ideas and directions to help her tackle her challenge. Um, at first, she was reluctant to follow my advice because she thought that the conventional way could be more um, accurate and appropriate. Um, however, gradually, she followed my instructions and finally she could acquire marvelous outcomes for her math exercises and she thanked me for my support. So, you know, after that event, I suppose that giving advice and helping others can simultaneously assist individuals to get rid of their depressing situations and bring us a sense of happiness. So in the future, I will strive to improve my abilities so that I can contribute my effort and time to give advice as well as lift people out of disadvantageous situations to become more constructive um, in my community. First question, what kind of advice do parents give to their children? You know, there are some types of advice that parents regularly give their offspring. Um, so I think when it comes to their daily activities, parents usually give some advice for children to formulate their beneficial habits, such as keeping their well-mannered behaviors and respectful actions towards the older generations. And kids have to say thanks or sorry when they converse with other people in their communities. Um, and I think parents also advise their kids to shy away from some destructive habits like staying up late at night or playing games excessively since those activities can have an adverse bearing on their mental and physical performances. Next question, how do experts give advice to others? I suppose that before giving advice and instructions to someone, individuals have to improve their knowledge and have some specialized information about their professions. Um, for example, when a psychologist wants to give some instructions to help the patients heal their diseases, um, that expert has to understand the root cause that their patients are facing so they can have a comprehensive understanding about the shortcomings that those people are encountering and find one way or another to give appropriate advice to, um, you know, to that person and support them to surpass their hurdles as well as shy away from precarious situations. Next question, what advice do parents give to teenagers about making friends? Well, I believe that parents usually give some advantageous advice and instructions to their offspring since um, adolescents are immature and they can be easily affected by some destructive friends who have bad behaviors such as smoking or using violence or cursing in public places. So parents should give them advice to help them distance themselves from those bad people and maintain their good behaviors. Um, in addition, parents should induce their offspring to establish acquaintances with others who are friendly, open-minded, and especially diligent, so juveniles can learn from those positive individuals to become superior versions of themselves. Next question, whose advice is more helpful, parents or friends? I think it all boils down to distinctive aspects. Um, on the one hand, friends can give some beneficial advice when it comes to the subject or courses that they are engaging in. Since um, you know, they are in the same education program, so they can have a comprehensive understanding about the information that they have to study. 
Um, by contrast, parents are more mature and they have accumulated hands-on experiences in their life so they can give some constructive advice and life hacks for their offspring when their children face some problems uh, with their private relationships or surrounding people in their communities. And I believe that those advice can be significantly essential to their children's enhancement. Bây giờ chúng ta hãy cùng nhau học từ mới nha. Đầu tiên chúng ta sẽ có một cụm đó là be within my knowledge range. Ví dụ mà nói trong khả năng tài chính thì be within my financial range. Còn trong khả năng hiểu biết của tôi thì mình nói là be within my knowledge range. Tiếp theo chúng ta sẽ có một cụm là get the hang of, có nghĩa là giỏi về cái gì đó. Và nó có thể tương tự với một số cụm từ khác như là have a knack for, have a knack for. Hoặc là be competent at something Hoặc là be proficient in doing something Có nghĩa là giỏi thành thạo về một vấn đề nào đó Tiếp theo chúng ta sẽ có một danh từ đó là formulas Có nghĩa là công thức thuộc về toán học Tiếp theo chúng ta sẽ có một cụm danh từ đó là root cause Root cause ở đây có nghĩa là nguyên nhân gốc rễ Và nó tương tự với một danh từ khác đó là chief culprit Corporate là thủ phạm, ví dụ như là thủ phạm trong một vụ án giết người thì cũng là corporate Hoặc là một cái thủ phạm chính để gây ra cái xu hướng đó hoặc là cái hành vi đó Thì nó cũng là corporate, nghĩa bóng Vậy thì chief corporate có nghĩa là thủ phạm chính và nó tương tự với root cause trong một vài trường hợp Tiếp theo chúng ta sẽ có danh từ shortcoming, có nghĩa là điểm yếu Và nó tương tự một số danh từ khác như là weaknesses, deficiency có nghĩa là sự thiếu hụt hoặc là imperfection, không hoàn hảo. Tiếp theo chúng ta sẽ có khi mà mình diễn tả về việc là chửi thề, nói tục ở nơi công cộng thì mình có thể dùng là cursing, cursing và nó tương tự với swearing. Có nghĩa là use bad words, sử dụng những từ hơi tục tiểu hoặc là không phù hợp. Một cụm tiếp theo là distance somebody from doing something, có nghĩa là um, tránh xa khỏi một cái hành vi hoặc là một cái việc gì đó không tốt. Distance myself from doing something Và nó tương tự với shy away from Avoid Get rid of Hoặc là circumvent Được có nghĩa là tránh khỏi Một danh từ tiếp theo là juveniles Juveniles có nghĩa là trẻ vị thành niên Và nó tương tự một số danh từ khác như là teenagers Adolescents Và youngsters Các bạn có thể paraphrase qua lại để thay thế cho cái câu nói của mình ha